All right, good morning. Whew, I am dead. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to film a day in the life of me. Um, yeah, it's not going to be that interesting, but uh, say hi, Vinny. He literally kicks Cindy out of the bed so he can cuddle with me. Yep. Um, but I thought, why not do day in the life? I can show you guys kind of the business side of things that we've been working on. Um, how I create content. I actually have a job interview soon. So we'll take you guys on that. And um, maybe do a little apartment tour. And then I am seeing one of my best friends, Gabby, today from Buffalo. So I'll take you on that trip. And yeah, just show you what it's, what it's like to live in my shoes for a day. <laughs> um, but first, first and foremost, Starbucks. And the little cuddles. Give me kisses. Here's my other kitty. Say hi. Say hi, Bootsy. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're at my favorite Starbucks. Um, and I wanted to preface because I just kind of like woke up, rolled out of bed, and just went to Starbucks. So I don't have like a fancy fucking good morning routine. Um, like I know that's like a huge thing in the YouTube world. Like you just, you just, you know, you wake up and you apply 75 things to your face and you meditate and whatever. Nah, sorry guys, I don't do that shit. If you're curious, you get the same dang thing every time okay, so got my Starbucks and now I'm gonna do my like I said I don't have a whole fucking face wash routine I literally just besides from brushing my teeth in the morning I don't do much uh, don't do anything really I, I guess I put this lotion on Yeah, that's about it, guys. I just don't, yeah, I don't do a lot. But I'm gonna go get ready for my interview. Put some makeup on. Very little, because who cares really what I look like. Um, and yeah, let's get ready for my interview. And I will tell you guys all about it in a hot second. starts in a few minutes um, so I thought I would kind of explain this is a very it's a very long story so I'm probably gonna have to make a whole different YouTube about it YouTube video about it because it's just a massive thing um, about my nursing career and all that stuff so I have an interview right now for a per diem like kind of PRN position as a nurse um, working with adults with developmental disabilities which is right up my freaking alley 
Um, I kind of need something that I can pick my own schedule with and I don't I don't have anything consistent. I don't have to work every day. Um, doing per diem means I can, I think the max for this specific job will be like twice a month I have to work, which is perfect. Going on with social media right now, it's a full-time job. Like, it, it really is. I know it might sound like corny and weird, but it, it takes a lot of work. Um, as you guys know, I came out with merchandise, we've created a YouTube, our, our TikTok is so important to us. It honestly probably doesn't need to be a full-time job. I mean, it really isn't a job because it's it's like I'm on vacation because I love doing it so much. I love creating content. I love seeing all of you guys wearing our merchandise. I love seeing how happy this all makes Emily and how how this was so much her dream and just watching it come to be reality is I can't even consider it a job, but I do spend probably anywhere between 12 to 15 hours a day, uh, Monday through Sunday, like if there's no breaks with it, uh, spending time messaging all of you wonderful people back and taking time to think of good content and just be as authentic and real as I am because I, I truly believe that's what everyone deserves. You don't deserve this fake persona of an influence influencer please i'm not that i no no we are not influencers we are normal people who go through terrible shit just like everybody else and i'm just busting my ass to do whatever i can to let emily achieve her goals and her dreams so Sorry, I took a little circle there. Um, but yeah, so that's why I am not working full time as a nurse right now. I just I just I just don't have the time. Yeah, it wouldn't be fair to our social media family, it wouldn't be fair to patients because I would be I'm being pulled in many different directions right now. Um, plus I'm also balancing a relationship and I take care of my sister and believe it or not, I do have some friends. <laughs> Not that many, not that many friends. Uh, I've lost a lot of people. But I have a handful of really great friends that I try and keep a social life with. And so the interview that I have right now is gonna give me just some flexibility to maintain some of my skills while I'm in school and hopefully I get it. Fingers crossed. I should know, should know in about an hour. They, they told me they were gonna let me know after the interview, so. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit about it, and I do plan on making a, a whole YouTube video about kind of why I quit my nursing job, what happened with it, and why I probably will never go back inpatient in the hospital ever again. Uh, yeah, I was just absolutely traumatized, so... If that's an interest to people, please let me know. Uh, maybe there's someone else out there watching this that's also struggling with that. And, oh, my cat wants to make uh, a special feature. Say hi! Alright, I'm gonna go friggin' rock this interview, and then I will see you guys soon. Okay, we're gonna do a little apartment tour. Here's Cindy, studying hard.
apartment. Um, but it works for right now. It works for us. And then hopefully this fall we're going to move into a two-bedroom. So this way Emily will have her own room. Um, we'll also have space for guests and nights that Emily doesn't stay with us. And yeah. Also finished my interview. Got the job. Knocked it out of the park. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to take it. So it's exciting. Cindy's home from the gym. And we are going to go head over to my biological mom's house because Cindy is going to do some yard work for her. So yeah, let's go on an adventure there. <sighs> Say hi to YouTube, Mom. Oh, no. No, not like this. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no. <sighs> uh. Hi, Sonny. Okay. All right. So I've realized that I haven't eaten anything today yet. Um, so I probably should make something to eat. I normally forget to eat. Uh, not intentionally. Just just get busy and trying to find it whoa just get busy and stuff happens so let's see also the medicine that I take makes me super nauseous so good maybe a little have one of these and Carbs. Cindy's judging me because she eats healthy. I'm about to make some eggs with cheese, like a little omelet. You want one, baby? No. I'll have my carbs. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my carbs and then probably. We'll spend some time um, on social media. I just posted a new TikTok um, that I'm working with a brand with, which is really cool. And I had a lot of fun making that content. I was working with Reface, the app, and honestly, it was hysterical and I loved it. And I still have the app to use because it's funny. And my cats are trying to fight each other now. And yeah, so I'll probably spend some time just answering messages on TikTok, answering some messages on Instagram, uh, looking at our merchandise, how that's doing, looking at different different sales and stuff, and uh, not much exciting things to show. But um, yeah, so I will fill you guys in after. Excuse me. What are you? What are you doing? My phone flicking me off. Ah. Oh. Wow. So I'm, I'm taking just, girlfriend applications. I'm just trying to act tough. You on know, here. because I literally pay the rent, I pay all the bills, and she's flicking me off. And I watch you pay the bill. <laughs> Some monkey's butt. Cindy's watching an educational video about gorillas' butts. <laughs> Alright, we're ready to go to Buffalo to see my friend Gabby. Have some Chipotle. R.I.P. R. Butthole A. Butthole A. <laughs> Alright, off we go. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that, I, yeah, I saw like, that and I was. All right, so we just got home from Buffalo from seeing Gabby. We forgot to record the food because it was so good. We ate it really fast. Um, we had like pretzels and nachos and it was so good catching up with her. She is a lawyer, going to be a lawyer. 
so it was awesome. And then I just got home and it's 10 o'clock and just feeding the babies. Baby number one, baby number two. And yeah, so that was a, uh, I guess today was kind of a boring day, but um, that's like a typical day for me without Emily. Um, when I have Emily, it's a bit different. It involves picking her up from school or taking her to school and you know cooking for her and making sure she does all the things that she needs to do. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much my day. And obviously I didn't include the like six hours I put in for social media time today. Just like answering all you guys and just thinking of new ideas, creating some content with Cindy. And yeah, so let me know if you guys like this video and if you want some more day in the life of us. Uh, yeah, so hope you liked it. Bye guys.